That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. Today's Daily Dose of Stupid is one that, uh, after we've had a very intense show, it doesn't break my heart as much as it probably would if we were dealing with a lot of frivolous stuff, but uh, I gotta say, it is a blow because I grew up with this. It's Looney Tunes. Now, what has happened recently with Looney Tunes is that, sadly, they have taken away the guns from Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam. So all of the new Looney Tunes that are coming out now, because they've, tr they've tried to go back to the old style of animation, the, the old Looney Tune format, as it were, and revised it in a new way. And uh, Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam, characters that are very often depicted as having guns, now no longer will feature guns. So here's a small snippet of what the newest Looney Tunes are going to look like. All right, so you get the idea there, and it goes on for a few more minutes, but uh, you saw there at the very beginning that Elmer Fudd is using a scythe, not a shotgun, which uh, raises a number of questions, because first of all, even though a shotgun is obviously a much deadlier weapon and it has more range, a scythe is a far more intimidating <laughs> weapon. <laughs> like, uh, If I face a dude with a shotgun, I'm probably scared because he's got a shotgun, I face a dude with a scythe, I'm like, what is this guy's problem? Is this some kind of nut that thinks he's the Grim Reaper? Like, scythe was an odd choice of weaponry. <laughs> but that's what they went with. And the irony is, is, in all of this is, they immediately follow it up with bugs using a whole bunch of dynamite. And I don't really get the difference because... They're both weapons that use gunpowder. Granted, dynamite's not a projectile, but I don't understand why one is, is wrong to show kids and the other is okay. If, if you want to be one of those parents that thinks that any kind of violence showing to a kid is wrong, okay, I may not agree with your argument, but at least you're consistent on that if you don't want dynamite or TNT or, you know, the, the big rock crushing the coyote when he's chasing the roadrunner. I don't agree, but I get your stance. With this, it's just like we're only going to remove the gun so that we can be politically correct, but we're going to keep the dynamite in? That I don't understand that at all. And, and first of all, and this was my immediate reaction, the bit sucks regardless of whether there's a gun or not. Like if Elmer Fudd were chasing him with a gun, that bit would still not be good. So I, that cartoon has bigger problems than the fact that, that that's the case. It's just not funny. But what they have been trying to do over at Warner Brothers is basically return to the glory days. And you can see from that clip, that's very clearly what they're trying to do. Because back in the day, of course, Looney Tunes wildly popular. It was really, really funny. When you're looking back at like the Mel Blanc era, where you're seeing a lot of the classic cartoons that we all grew up with. And so they try to go back to the glory days and, and try to go back to that hand-drawn animation style, even though I'm sure it's not hand-drawn. I'm sure that there's computers in it. Part of that is because, and I know that we're getting off a little into the details here, but hey, cartoons is one of my wheelhouses, and so this is an area where I can really show off some of my expertise. When it comes down to the cartoon, for a very, very long time, they had gone to trying to do something new and modern and hip, and, and let's even bring in computer animation and I don't know if you saw the Looney Tunes show, which they came out with a few years ago. They basically tried to make it into Seinfeld, which was really, really odd. It's, it's like basically a sitcom where Bugs and Daffy live together. Very, very strange. And wound up completely missing the mark. Nobody liked it for obvious reasons. And so now they're trying to go back to, quote unquote, the good old days. To where they can actually get back to their, their former popularity. But this is not going to cut it. And I'm going to show you a perfect example of why. With arguably the most politically incorrect Looney Tune cartoon that has ever come out. 
Take a watch. <laughs> idea there but the reason that's so funny and ridiculous is that yosemite sam is a confederate i don't know it kind of makes sense he's he's goofy and wild and animated and by the way one thing did you notice in there that they're making fun of both sides the reason that bugs wants to go into the south by crossing the mason dixon line literally at the line you can see it's like a, a paradise with river boats and, and lush foliage and everything. And on the, the north side, barren wasteland. <laughs> so they're making fun of the north, and they're also making fun of the south. Why? Because it's funny. That's the thing that so many of these cartoons and comedy shows have lost in the PC era. That back in the day, they just did what was funny. They didn't care about being politically correct. They didn't care whose toes they stomped on. They wanted it to be funny, and that's why it was funny. The reason that a lot of the modern shows fall short is because priority number one is making some kind of ridiculous political statement or not offending anyone. Well, it's really hard to be funny when that's your number one priority. And so it really is a shame but when you're constantly worried about political correctness and stepping on eggshells and making sure you check all the right political boxes, when that becomes priority number one, funny just kind of goes out the window and maybe you'll still occasionally be funny every now and then, but it's not going to be like it was. So in other words, Looney Tunes' effort to go back to the glory days, as it were, they aren't going to work if they're going to pigeonhole themselves like this. I mean, yeah, the old Looney Tunes was goofy and ridiculous and it put people in a lot of situations that didn't make sense. They didn't care. They didn't explain it. There's no reason they were explaining that Yosemite Sam all of a sudden is a Confederate soldier that hasn't heard the war ended. They just put him in the situation and let it play out because it's funny. That's what's missing from this modern version of it. And the whole idea that they're going to show sides and dynamite but not guns that's such a weird standard to have. I don't understand why that's the, the breaking point. You may notice that Yosemite Sam tends to use a revolver, and uh, Elmer Fudd uses a break action, usually double barrel, although I've seen single barrel as well, usually a double barrel shotgun. Not only are those not automatic weapons, they're not even semi-automatic weapons. Nobody's even talking about banning those. Yet they do use dynamite, which is already banned because of how dangerous it is. None of it makes any sense. And the reason it doesn't make any sense is because their standard has become political correctness and feelings, not actually trying to be funny and doing whatever makes the bit work. So, ultimately, here, here's my prediction. I'll, I'll end with this. People are still going to like the reruns better. They're still going to be watching the reruns on Boomerang as opposed to watching the new ones because the new ones have given themselves this ridiculous handicap to where it's going to be much harder for them to be as funny as the old ones were. Could be wrong. That's my prediction. Maybe they wind up being really funny despite their political correctness, but I rather doubt it. Studies show that YouTube videos featuring attractive women get far more likes and subscriptions than ones that don't. This is especially true if she's exotic looking. Luckily, in the modern era, there's an easy way to work around this. You see, I identify as a very attractive Hispanic woman, so now you have to like this video and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're just an evil, heartless Nazi that hates brave, liberated, beautiful Latina women like me. Checkmate, woke brigade.